All right, guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a little uh, update on type of fishing lures I like to do. I've been doing a ton of card stuff because I really haven't had a lot of time to really go fishing, I guess. Or I'm not making the time, and that, that's part of it, too. But uh, fishing is really good here in the Tampa Bay area right now. This is something I wanted to try, Z-Man. Uh, this is the Diesel Minnow in a Slam Shady uh, color. This is the one that, if you see online, they advertise a ton of right now um, since it catches everything. Um but uh, also, if you go here, how to rig for more strikes. Um, I have an issue with rigging these. And because they're so stretchy and they're made to handle such a uh, barrage of fish and teeth and getting beat up and still being used, it does make it very hard to put on jig heads because it stretches so hard and it's hard to get over that. So over this little hook keeper that's in this head right here, and I'll show you what one of these is because I already rigged one of these. Um, and this is a, uh, this is a bigger hook. I mean, I don't know why I need a hook this big on this head, to be honest with you. Um, this could definitely be a little smaller, uh, in my opinion. Um, I know they make some, but I need the weight in the head to get down because I like a heavier weighted head to create more of a fling action, um, from my bait, especially when I let it drop. Um, uh, it also gives me more weight to throw. And the heavier something is, the farther you can throw it. Even, you know, when you're using braid, you can get that extra 10, 20 feet, sometimes 10 yards uh, out of out of a bait. That's that's a big deal. So this is a popular color. It's got like silver, gold, white, pearl. It's kind of like a really good uh, beach bait um, and just flats bait all in general, running around docks. Not really too big about baits with this little upper fin action going on and they probably have to do it because of patents and stuff like that but i don't know and this has a split in it up here but this is a pain in the butt to put on and you can see it to me it does not look like it's very well put on i'm sure it'll work just fine um again i'd like a lower profile hook just because i think this sticks out quite a bit uh in my opinion but i've never tried this bait so i'm going to give it a whirl and tell you how good it works versus what I usually use, which is a DOA cow jig, which is basically a smaller version of this, probably about that big. So basically, if you cut this bait off right here, that's about what a cow jig for a DOA size is that I usually use. Nice small bait, big enough to be uh, attractive for just about any fish, but still not too small to where maybe a bigger fish won't go out of its way for it. Because sometimes the big fish, they want the big dogs. And then walking into this day, baby right here, uh, it's 25 plus foot diver by Mirror Lure. Um, we just call it Pinky. And I don't use these really for trolling. I, I will if I go out to troll, but I don't troll very often in the channel, to be honest with you. I usually like dropping my bait down and pulling something up that way. So I use these for fishing piers and docks for a big snook, basically. Or a redfish, or we even have big trout that chase these things. And this it's a big lure, and it's made for 25 plus. Now, when you're fishing from up here in a dock, you're so much higher than the water versus when you're trolling. So when you're trolling, what's your rod? Eight feet tall, nine feet off the ground. It's at an angle. It's pulling at almost water level realistically. When you're on a pier, you're way up in the air. So you do not have that luxury of being close. So you need something, let's say, that is going to dive eight to ten feet on average based on how far you get it out. Because the farther you get it, the more time it has to get down to the bottom. Now you need a big rod, a big heavy uh, beefy reel, and you need at least 40 pound test of mono. Uh, you can use braid. I don't care for it because when you're fishing from pier to dock and you have a 15 to 50 pound fish or bigger on, and that braid touches the side of that concrete at full impact, it snaps like that. Where if you have basically mono, which has stretch, which is fantastic for these type of lures, you want that stretch. Because it's just like compounding energy. Um, and then when it hits a piling, it doesn't snap. It's a, it, It's got its own abrasion resistance. So you can do a lot more. I've pulled many snooks that have been wrapped around a piling of just nasty barnacles. And been able to get that fish up because I was using monofilament. And I've tried it with braid. And if you basically don't have a 12 to 20 foot leader on there. Which is ridiculous to try and throw when you're throwing something like this. Because it's not really meant for it. Um, it just doesn't work. So definitely fun if you have something like this and you're at a bridge or a pier and you're not catching nothing. Maybe you see some big fish. 
chuck it out there as far as you can along the edge of it, especially if you can run an edge of a pier. A lot of people always fish out, so it creates this hole underneath all the lines going down. And you have that luxury to be able to throw underneath everybody and get it down there or run right along those pilings. You'd be surprised at what you pull up with that. Other thing I like to use around here in the Tampa area, I live in Florida, so this works pretty much about everywhere, are shrimp. I really love shrimp. And DOA has been the go-to for a long, long time. And then all these other companies started getting these 3D style shrimp. I really like these shrimp. So this Savage Gear shrimp, which is a great slow mover, my walker, uh, on the bottom. Something I want to drag through some rocks because of where the weight is on the bottom of it in its upright position. Uh, this is great to like move on rocks, bounce, bounce, bounce. This tail flails in the air like this. It floats just enough. So do these uh, antennas. It's just a great presentation. Looks very natural. Really good in the water. Um, I, I really like like this Savage Gear for specific uh, specific things when I'm fishing for them. Beach, crawling it really slow. Uh, like I said, through the grass, sand pits. Um, everything around here eats a shrimp. The other shrimp is by Live Target. Um, they make these in a few different sizes also. This is kind of like the middle of the pack right here. Um, I also like the one that's a little smaller than this. It's about half size total. Um, I don't care for how long this is. It's a very bass feeling lure. And this works in uh, fresh water, by the way, just fine. Just as a, like a crawfish style. And they may, I know they make one that looks like uh, like a crawfish, but you can throw this too. So if you're going from salt to fresh and you want to throw a shrimp, you can just keep this on your line and keep throwing it. This is a heavier weighted one. Again, heavier weight, farther distance quicker retracting um, if you're looking for something more for bass that's slow and methodical that works great bass love that stuff so do certain saltwater species but if something's being chased it's running fast so i try to stick to something that feels a little more natural plus i fish a lot of current heavier weight more current i can get to the bottom because a lot of the fish hug the bottom they're not just sitting you know in the mid-tier level they're fighting the current they don't want to do that they duck behind things, they stay low, that's just what they do. So uh, I try and get the bait to where I want it to be to get it in the fish's face. Um, I'll even use these in the channel. You know, they take an extra couple seconds to get to the bottom, um, but if I'm snapper fishing or trying to target stuff and I don't have live bait maybe, or the bait I would prefer, um, I'll throw things like this down there, including even like a Slam Shady uh, with a bigger jig head on it. because. I want the presentation to be this size. And when you start getting into 30, 40 feet of water or more, uh, at that point I'm fishing braid, you know, I need that thing to get down there quick because there's always going to be current around here. Um, very, You have a 30 minute window sometimes at max of no current unless it's a really crappy day. And then at that point you're probably not catching much anyway. But um, th this, this is another one of my favorite shrimp at this point. Um, I think Live Target also makes a floating shrimp that has like a diving action. I don't have my bag in here right now. Um, again, it's for specific situations. You know, I'm going to try and go through some videos uh, with some like underwater footage of kind of what these look like also. So you'll have an idea. And I'll show some uh, video of me fishing here coming up because I really want to get back to doing that a little bit more. Um, kind of miss it. So, all right, guys. Just a little bit of uh, what I've purchased recently. Um, also got this sweet hat, PFG, um, here. They make this in other colors that are really nice, but when I'm out fishing, I'm sweating. Oils and stuff, dirt, fish guts, really shows on a white and a bright blue hat or the other colors that they have. So I went with the dark one. I think it's really cool. It's sleek. Um, uh, I wear like a large usually, but I tried this on a few different times at the store before I bought it um, online. And the medium flexes out to a large, plus this is going to flex some more once I wear it for the first few times. So keep that in mind. It's like this Columbia hat, built pretty much, well this is a Columbia hat too, but uh, made the same way. This thing barely fits on my head, but see how dirty it gets? That's after me cleaning it. And this is why I don't do the white hats much anymore. Um, unless it's something I'm just going to wear for like a wearable for when I'm just hanging out. But it just gets dirty. Alright guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hopefully I'll have some fishing videos coming up soon. Thanks guys.